We have a special guest in the house. You are not going to want to miss this episode. This is season one, episode 11 of Grand Hotel. Stay tuned. You're tuned in to AfterBuzz TV, the ESPN of TV talk. Now, let the buzz Okay, this is where we dance. This is our dance portion of the episode. And then you move. And then you go. And then you rock and then you lean. It's and like then, your okay, what's up? <laughs> Everybody, we are back talking. Boom, 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 boom. We are back here in the studio talking all things Grand Hotel. And we are going to get right to our special guest because we have no time to waste with this one. We have Lincoln Eunice. <laughs> Lincoln Eunice you in the it. house. I got nervous. You got nervous. <laughs> See, I was going to do what that girl called Jella Jill was waiting on it, too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. How, Who how played? people pronounce my name? <laughs> Eunice. Yo, niece. Yo, Yo niece. niece. Well. Yo, niece. <laughs> we have Lincoln Eunice in the house. Hello. Please, Danny. Oh, my gosh. It's so nice to have you. Thank you. It's you nice to be here. You watched the whole episode with us. I you did. had such an amazing energy. Don't you guys agree? Yes. Oh, it kind of sucks. It does. It does <laughs> suck a little bit. Just, I had some coffee. I'm now in the like dip, so I'm like, <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. Well, we just want to get right to it because we know you do have to leave, so we want to talk to you as much as possible. Do it. Let's do it. So let's get right into it. Um, so just first question. How has it been here in Los Angeles for you? It's 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 been wonderful. Yeah, it's, and it's a spoiler alert. He's Australian. <laughs> if you do not know, can you understand me right now? <laughs> oh, oh, there it is. I feel like I want that in life. <laughs> like for, I, let me tell you something. <laughs> I'm Australian. I'll leave now. Bye. <laughs> um, so yeah, how's it been for you here? How long have you been here? So I've been coming and going for like a few years, doing the the you know auditioning thing, and then I got this job, and I've been here now for a year and a half. So, Congratulations. Thank you. I'm still a newbie, but I, I feel at home, which is great. Yeah, yeah. that's awesome. Um, so also, I, I see that you were on uh, Home and Away, mm -hmm. which was an Australian soap opera. So you appeared in over 500 episodes. Damn. There's yeah, a lot of episodes. Oh, There's a lot of episodes. Nice. Yeah. A, a lot. It's, it's like a university now. <laughs> <laughs> it's been going for like more than 30 years. No Actually, way. the 30th uh -huh. celebration really? is this year. It is. Mm, well, it was, I think it was a few years well, ago. Was oh, let's go no, with that. are you sure? I looked it up. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, it was a few years ago. Uh, yeah, okay, it's a bit Google lied. Right. Google lied about something. If it was Wikipedia, it's probably wrong. <laughs> oh, Wikipedia. I remember my friends used to, because uh, you can edit on Wikipedia. Yeah. yeah. Oh. So every now and then I get a call from like a publicist or someone going, um, just have you looked at your Wikipedia? And I'd look it up and it would be like, studied juggling for ten years, then fell out of circus school. I'm like, You're like, wait, that I'm never like, happened. What friend did this? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, clearly a soap opera. We have Grand Hotel. Mm -hmm. How did that help prepare you for this? I'm sure it did. So just tell us the differences. Yeah, uh, I, I mean, I, I was very lucky because I, I worked in Australia for about 10 years on different things. I started in a show called Tangle, which was like, uh, it was on a cable network there. Ben Mendelsohn played my dad. I started around these amazing actors. So I had that kind of um, initiation. And then I went on to Home and Away for three years. Um, and when you do something that consistently, it kind of becomes innate. You get, you know, the foundations down. You don't worry about, you know, hitting your marks or learning your lines or anything like that. So, you know, going into a show like this where I'm used to very fast pace in terms of filming it, it kind of was an easy transition which was wonderful and you can just kind of worry about the acting just worry about the acting part and speaking of the acting part uh how is how is your process going through grand hotel like acting wise was it um you know how did you uh take on your role was yeah it was kind of interesting with this one because um danny has that duality to him where you know the audience doesn't know whether he's being sincere or playing everyone um i didn't fully know whether he, I was always <laughs> being sincere or playing everyone so I had to have discussions with the showrunner and the producers and everyone saying hey I know you can't give me the whole arc but give me some kind of reference of, of if he's playing everyone so I can kind of pitch it differently um, which was really good and we could kind of mark it out and um, they, they still threw in some surprises for me so that whole uh, Heather you know, he had a oh, girlfriend yeah, yeah, at yeah. home. We we're reading the script at the, at the big table read, and um, I was reading. I was like, "Oh no!" Everyone's <laughs> like, "What?" I was like, oh, "Everyone's gonna hate him now." <laughs> but yeah, it was it was quite an interesting process with this, and it was nice as well to read the script every single week with the cast and 
be surprised by the twist they'd, they'd thrown in there, which I think is, is something new. It's something hard to achieve in yeah. this day and age where no one's surprised by anything, you mm-hmm, know? Definitely. And especially with, you know, binging and, and streaming content, you don't have that um, delayed gratification of waiting a week to find out what happens. Everything's kind of very instant. So to be on a show where I think there is enough uh, twists and turns to keep you engaged each week, I think that's quite a, a cool thing. Yeah, we're... Um were there any twists and turns like when you when you went through the script that you were just like, whoa, did not see this coming? Yeah, I mean the f- the finale episode is oh, is, is pretty. Okay. It's we we had bets on set as to <laughs> uh, you know who was involved with what happened to Sky and yeah. what was in you know room six oh six and all that kind of oh, stuff. Yes. And we so we had we had a lot of bets and we were all wrong. All wow. of you were wrong. Yeah, no one won any money. Wow. Yeah. I want to see if I can break that, though. I'm sure I you can. Know. I just watched yeah. the episode with you, and you were, like, psychic with a lot of things. I was. I had it, to well, we call, her, we call her the Nostradamus of Grand Hotel because seriously, literally every single week she's sitting there predicting it. Yeah. Me, and me and Ricky are just over here like, huh? Can like, you stop spoiling it for us, please? Yeah, she's, 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 she's so, so good, good at it. Before it even <laughs> happens yeah. all the time. I know, like, I know the script, and I'm still like, well, how do you? Oh, yeah, you're but, right. Wait. Yeah. <laughs> I... Mm, I I'm good at what I do. I do. Yeah, I read a lot. I'm good at what I do when I do it. I'm curious though because I mm-hmm. work with Greg Sulkin oh, yeah, yeah. on previous um, projects and everything, and he would just not talk in his British accent while we were filming, so yep. he didn't have to go back and forth. What was your process from doing your Australian and going to American? Um, or did I, you just switch? I'll just switch because you spend so much time on set with. You know, look. If it was a movie or something like that, then I'd think a bit differently about it. But when you're filming for seven months and these, you know, the cast and crew become your family, it can feel quite contrived and a bit weird. You, you want to get to know people, and there's so much downtime, mm-hmm. there's so much waiting. And if you're talking in a different accent than who you know, yeah. who you are, it just kind of creates this rift that doesn't, for sure. F- at least for me, help yeah. the collaboration. And and. I can switch now between Australian and American fairly easily, but I, I still need to do my like <laughs> silly warm-ups on the drive to work and do all that kind of stuff because you guys do use your mouths a lot more than Australians do. You know, there are different muscles that are engaged more than Australians because we're very lazy and we don't we don't articulate as much as you guys do. So I still had to do, you know, I'd have a 50-minute drive to work every day, um, you know, from West Hollywood to So Manhattan for five, Beach. Mi- five miles, you had a 50-minute drive in LA? I'm exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was like down That's the road to pick off. up some milk and then I'd be like, well, that was an hour. Yeah, well, exactly, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Um, but, yeah, I'd do these silly warm-ups by myself in the please, car. Please, 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 I said you should get tints. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, tints just to put, a put on tint. your car so no one could see you do anything. I mean, it kind of became funny, funny now. <laughs> it kind of became a little bit. Has that guy going to say making these weird yeah, faces? Yeah, one of my friends does this thing where he will take the most stupid like picture of himself, and it, this is illegal. You shouldn't do it, but he would air, <laughs> he would airdrop people at lights. Oh my Shut god, that's up. hilarious! Is that the funniest that thing? Me. That's so, so funny. So, so he, like, <laughs> he, it's funny. He'd be there at the lights for so long <laughs> that he'd look to his left and be like, "Well, you look like you're open to an airdrop." And then just, <laughs> oh just, god. just airdrop, oh my god. Airdrop, airdrop a face, like, and he'd be like. I'm so it. gonna do that. I'm no. so no, gonna do so that. Gonna, not when I'm not, driving not, though. No, when, you, when you're parked when I'm and parked, stationary and it's legal. But, yeah. But no, somebody did that to me on the metro, and I was looking at my phone like, what, who in the? That I mean, no, such a good yeah, idea. Yeah, I mean, no one denies it. Everyone's always like, I'm interested. Yeah, yeah I don't no know. one's I'm, ever I'm like deny it. Yeah. Yeah. but then like it kept coming. Like they kept coming in repetition. Why? It's better than what happened on the way here. There was a guy like in the car next to me, and I was listening to music, and then I realized that you know when you can feel someone's eyes on you, yeah. and I was like, I've been dancing like an idiot to this song, <laughs> and then I kind of like was like, this light's taking forever, and then looked at him, and he was like, and I was like. Yeah. And then he put down his window, and I was like, I don't know what that means. So I put down my window, and I was like, hey, and he was like, it didn't say anything. Oh, okay. He was trying to get at you. 
That's a lot. Uh, I think he's trying to hit on you. I think so. That's he should have yeah. just airdropped something. That been <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of better interactions than I've had on oh, the really? on the road. Mine have usually consisted of fingers being thrown at me. Oh so. really? Yeah. Oh, what wow. fingers being thrown? Yeah, at you? Like, particularly what? ones in the middle. <laughs> yeah. So just. Oh, no. just what, what, what were you doing? I nothing. I, s- I swear, it's L.A. Mm-hmm. You know, well, you, you know, do nothing. You, you Dude, I hate you on Big Brother. No, I literally, no, I literally like pulled out. I was like, da 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 And I look over, and this guy's like, F you, go back to Nevada. And I was like, uh. Dude, I think, I think it is a thing here where people are like, stop being so happy. Yeah. <laughs> right? They're like, whoa, sorry. sorry for being happy. Didn't yeah, mean to. Ha- happiness to L.A. is, sh- I think, a strange thing for yeah, them. Yeah, people don't, I don't trust know, it. I don't know they're why. Like, they're like, what? did you do <laughs> there was a, a, when I first got here I walked everywhere which I found out later is is a kind of it's very, a weird thing to it's do a very here. weird thing like yeah. people, I was like I thought people were just staring at me because I was <laughs> famous crossing the road. No, definitely not <laughs> definitely not the one actually I can tell you this the one time I've been papped in LA uh-huh. was papped like, uh, pa- like paparazzi. paparazzi oh okay Sorry. get with it I know oh, get you, with the you went somewhere else yeah I, I was like oh. something I need to tell you no uh, <laughs> the one time I got paparazzi here was uh, I went with paparazzi. some friends uh, to play tennis right and my friend was like oh can you put some sunscreen on my like sunblock on my back I was like yeah sweet so I put oh, and then I started God. being an idiot and doing like vigorous sunblocking I was like imagine if someone just took a picture right now it, yeah. No way. <laughs> yeah. In an Australian, like, big newspaper, that was the shot. Oh, my gosh. And I was like, well, that, I mean, it's not really an interesting story, but yeah. sure. That's the- <laughs> well, we we are getting close to the mark of you having oh, no. to actually leave no. us, which, uh, I think I think we can push a little bit more time. We can push. Yeah, li- let's push. That means we can get yeah. into the episode because yeah, yeah, I need sweet. to talk about Danny and Alicia, okay? okay. Yeah, let's, let's dig in on that. Fire away, 855, Jay. tell me and I'll leave. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> God. <laughs> God. Hello? Traffic gods be with okay. me. Yes. Okay. It was something we were talking about last week. Mm-hmm. When you're when you somebody wants the truth and you give it to them, yep. it's a catch twenty two because you're damned if you do and damned if you don't. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you finally came clean to Alicia about why you're at the hotel and yeah. I I don't think any of us any of us were expecting her you're fired. To find me. I, to have that reaction. That was the one time I was just like, Oh dang, you just fired. Okay. Yeah. But I, well, yeah. I mean, my feelings around that is, don't ask the question unless you want, you want the, answer. the answer, or you're you're willing to hear the answer. Um, but I also do think that she was completely within her right to be confused and annoyed mm-hmm. and, and all that kind of stuff with Danny because, you know, when love's involved and all that kind of stuff, it, it does get complicated. But there is so much information that he was withholding from her. Um, which then becomes a, a trust issue. And she was right. She's like, you know, it is all based off trust. And if you're holding, uh, withholding such a big portion of your life from me, then what else are you withholding? Yeah. So so I, I think she was completely within her rights to fire him. Well, technically fire you because so, I mean, it's you, illegal to fire you just yeah. because you have a personal... Yeah, if, if it kept rolling, it would have been like... Technically, can't fire me. Yeah. Well, I, th- I think we, I think we all knew that she wasn't going to yeah. stick with this yeah. at all. Yeah. And as we saw at the beginning of the episode, when, when Mrs. Mrs. P, Mrs. P, Mrs. P is asking, "Do you have a reason?" Can I just say, like, Mrs. P, no. the one time Mrs. P has defended me, she does right. not like Danny. That is true. Not a fan of Danny. Right. Like, she called you a terrible boyfriend, but no offense. Yeah, no offense. She meant offense. Whenever <laughs> someone says no offense, I mean, they mean offense. Yeah, yeah, sure. Or, and same with someone says, "With all due respect, they don't mean respect." <laughs> yeah. Have you noticed that? Yeah. 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 Oh my gosh. For sure. We're just talking about the world and all the all its problems right now. <laughs> the <laughs> world deep dive into semantics. Yeah. Um, it has a lot of them, but Mrs. P was killer in this. this oh, she always kills it. Episode, yeah. especially when. Um, I don't know why I just blanked on Ingrid's name for a second. Oh, there it is, Ingrid. Ingrid. Yeah. <laughs> Ingrid came to her to tell about the cheerleader who oh, was yeah, almost yeah. like a stripper. And I was just like, yeah. the connections you're making, though I never thought of them, though there's some that's some sneakiness I'm, I'm loving though. I'm appreciating Wendy, it. Wendy is one of the most talented actresses that you is ever true. meet. And, and and one of the most exceptional people. She she um I mean, on screen, amazing, but in life she um she works she started this kind of school. Yeah, the Amazing bag. Grace concert. Yeah, yeah. I was going to ask you, have you been there yet? Yeah, I went and watched the West Side Story um, oh, they did play West Side with Stories? Denise. Yeah, and oh, it was nice. unbelievable. And it was really funny because we got there and um, didn't know anyone or anything, but I was like, I wonder where Wendy is. And <laughs> you don't know Wendy, but you can tell where she is a mile away from her laugh. <laughs> <laughs> so you're sitting there and you see, ha! And you're like, Wendy! <laughs> 
What's up? Okay. Yeah. Um, you're going back to your relationship with Alicia, though, mm-hmm. Denise. Yeah. Tell me about your relationship with her on a personal level. Oh, she's one of the greatest human beings. Aww. No, truly. She, she, she seems like one. No, she is. She is. Um, I, I think you can't fake <clears throat> sincerity on screen and integrity on screen a lot of the mm-hmm. time. And she, I mean, we were very lucky and I felt very lucky because we did have that that chemistry from the start. When we met, we, we got on and we could banter and she's very funny and quirky and um, I think that's important because, you know, sometimes it's a lottery. You get on set and you're like, oh, there's, we're really going to have to try and find this we're vibe, gonna, oh, you know, and yeah, that, that can be works. hard. And uh, it was just a pleasure. And, I, you know, she, she would get to set and do choose uh, different actions and choices in the scene and it would just be like, cool, let's play like that. That's yeah. cool. I wasn't expecting that. So she's wonderful. She's yeah. she's an amazing singer too, which no one really? I know, and everybody knows yeah. that's what... Um, she was also uh, on Big Time Rush. Ryan said last yeah. week. Yeah. yeah, she's an amazing singer. So. Yeah. She, was, she did background a little bit for Big Time Rush too. on the show. Are you guys a couple in uh, real no, life? No, 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 no. Oh, okay. <laughs> she, she, has, <laughs> no. no she has a wonderful boyfriend, okay. Luke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Is but he from Australia too? He's not. <laughs> no, no uh, Denise does not like Australian. No, <laughs> <laughs> that would really suck. It would, oh. yeah. No, oh my gosh. So, and then just on set, were there any like fun rituals that you guys did on set or any fun yeah, yeah. stories? Yeah, there's this great ritual where I didn't know what craft services was. I'm and sorry, I, I need you to repeat that, sorry. Yeah, yeah. ma'am, ma'am. Uh, we, we, didn't, we don't have craft services in Australia. So I got there and I was like, what's craft services? And they were like, the truck of glory. And I was right? like, what? Walked in every snack you could ever imagine. And then I realized what show I was on and what character I had and I could not eat any of it. So we had this fun ritual where Denise would like, go, oh, the donuts. And I'd go, oh, yeah. And she'd go, okay, cool. And we walk on set together. <laughs> Yeah. I'll have an almond. I have an almond. One please. almond, please. please. One almond. One <laughs> apple. Thank you. Um, but no, it was seriously though. We had so many uh, different people from different walks of life. So each day on set was this kind of like melting pot of culture. That's amazing. Which yeah. was amazing That's because so Rosalind amazing. would you know get on set and we didn't get to work together that much. Um, but she would like teach me how to salsa or Shalim would teach Ooh. me Spanish. That's amazing. Or Chris, oh, and, I, I I, Chris and I would like salsa. beatbox and, and rap and, and then... So uh, show us some of your skills. Definitely not. I need, <laughs> I, need, I need my weed man right now. I need my like... Boom. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not doing that. No. <laughs> I can't rap. What about Spanish? Is it, uh, no, he taught, he taught me this. He, he, goes, he, go, he goes, go up to Eva. He's like, he's like, brother, go up to Eva and say, well, es un poco raro. And so I went up and I was like, I was like, Eva. And she was like, yeah. And I was like, I've been learning Spanish. And she was like, oh, okay. I went, well, es un poco raro. And she goes, what? No. And I was like, what does that mean? It means you smell weird. Oh, <laughs> oh they tricked you. Tricked Set me. you up. Yeah. So Eva doesn't talk to me anymore. No, I'm joking. Yeah, yeah. I but mean, it, she, you kind of, you tried the bottle challenge at her house and you kind of, yeah, she kind of showed you up. Of course she did. I mean, she that's, is, that's you know. yeah. You try and show Eva up. That's not going to happen ever. Okay, I, I respect yeah. that. Yeah, I understand that. Also, my feet are too big. I can't. I was. Like, I have no control. I was like, oh, that's done. That's fine. And you have some amazing scenes with Christina Vidal. Yes. And I just, I, I freaking love Christina. You just wanted to fan girl for a sec, didn't you? Look at you. I want, she has a fan girl. That's a reboot. Here. Can we get Taina back? I would love to know what Taina Morales is doing with her life. If I'm just listening, saying. Christina. If you're listening, yeah. you know. I'm just saying. But, you know, you knocked over a half a million. First of all, that thing did not look like it was worth half a million dollars. Yeah. So, it, so yeah, what So what she's talking about. It's the we, art, sorry. Yeah. We've got this art auction. I mean. That's Quote, unquote, art. Art, art auction. Mm-hmm. Uh, or is it? But, I mean, this was just a big storyline throughout this episode that was pretty epic uh, mm. that ends up That being, I called the entire time. That she literally called the entire time. Yep. We've got human trafficking going on, and then we see at the end of this episode where Mateo takes this, which I she called. literally <laughs> called too. Literally called. And, she and called. then you see what, what you know might have been going on in 606 with yes. the family. And room 606. So what was your <clears throat> prediction on room 606? Oh, I thought they were all playing Scrabble and drinking tea, but I got it wrong. So, oh. <laughs> so that means he can't no, tell us anything. I, 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 <laughs> we'll tell you our predictions later. But I, yeah. I, no, I did have predictions, and I might have been right. So, so you will find out <laughs> in episode twelve about the Mendozas. 
Okay. okay. And you'll find out in episode 13 about Sky. Okay. I'll ask, you, I'll ask you off camera, was I right? I want to know. No, don't ruin it. <laughs> it's not ruining it, I'm uh, right. I like, I like how we've met each other for like an hour and you think I'm going to tell you that. I yeah, know, there's no know. way. <laughs> but, I can, but I can still ask. <laughs> no. You can ask. That's the point. I can still ask my question. I'm quite good at poker. You're not going to get it from me. <laughs> <laughs> well, speaking of Sky, you've been searching for her this entire for a long time. season. Yeah. yeah. And. What do you think happened? You asked Lincoln before you obviously because you know Danny's side. What did you think happened to her? Because she's been a, like disappeared for over a month now. No, mm-hmm. oh, for a long time. For a long time. For a long, long time. Um, I don't know how to answer that. I was going to say, <laughs> yeah, you have to be like, very careful on that. Yeah, yeah. I, can't, I tried though. It was me. You did try. You did I try. know what you were. I was like, boy, don't, don't do it. I don't think I didn't know what you were doing there, but. <laughs> I wanted to give you some kind of answer. What can you tease us? Is there anything else you can can tease us or tell us? I can can tell you that uh, you still don't know what everyone is capable of. So in the next two episodes, your view of... uh, Your perspective of all the characters will change. Damn, really? Interesting. Wow. So I don't know. I started to feel tonight. There were I had this feeling mm-hmm. uh, when you were talking to Jason mm-hmm. that there was something strange about your interaction with him. Like the way he was like, "No, you got to keep going. You got to keep searching." Mm-hmm. No, because he's finally happy now because he's well, dating well, this I mean, chick. I mean, I know, but okay, okay, but yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, thank you. okay. Well, maybe it's that. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> but I don't know. But I can actually see what you're talking about, though. Thank you. As you as you say it. It's interesting. Why would Jason he just seems want you to keep going now? Mm. Well, because he's invested in it too. Because I know he's it was just the out. way that the interaction was seemed weird to me. It just seemed a little off. I can see where Ricky's going, but I, yeah. I can also see. I don't think where anything. Maybe I'm reading too much into so, it. It no, was no, just because he said no, that too. But, the, but there's more weirdness to come. So, so yeah, you're just gonna have to wait and see. But, the, <laughs> but it, it, you do get clarity. Can we talk about Carolina's rock that like I was blinded by? Six and a half carat rock from just, Tiffany's. Yeah, yeah though that's, I'm, a, I'm that's sorry. an expensive ring. Like from Sweet Home Alabama, which is awesome. So of the really. cast, who would you swipe right on? Ooh, <laughs> uh, Mrs. P, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. So yes. Yeah. Oh God, that was funny. That no, was that um, was the actual funniest part of that entire oh, so scene. Is. It was so funny. Rosalind looks stunning. I know. She, does. Does. she always she looks stunning. She doesn't even age. No, she doesn't. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah. She looks the same now than no, 20 years ago. Yeah. No, look, the, the cast is not short on good looks. Yeah, so, I know. She's so absolutely they're, they're all very, very attractive people. It's annoying. I think that was a requirement to be. <laughs> I know, like you're not attractive. You're like, it's I think so a, annoying. That was I can't a believe requirement it. to get this job in Grand Hotel. You had to be stunningly beautiful. <clears throat> oh, 100%. Oh, four hours of makeup right now. It's fine. <laughs> oh, where are you? <laughs> well, it's, it's, you know, speaking of, of Gigi, uh-huh. I, I mean. I caught that. What? <laughs> Speaking of Gigi, I mean, we see her go to off with Felix yes. to the Bahamas mm-hmm. to this beautiful that mansion oh of a beach house. We see her go in there, and homegirl, she steals that money for Santiago. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Should have the whole time. I called that from Jump Street. If you, look, if you look at her, you look at Mrs. P going to the hotel, you know, undercover. There's a lot of there's a lot of plans in place, you know, and I think. I think all the characters are a lot more uh, intelligent and have more of an agenda than they let on. Well, we all, because a couple episodes ago, Miss P obviously knew what happened to Beatrice because she even told Gigi, if I have to step in, if you even mention their mom again like that, we're going to have an issue. Mm-hmm. So even Miss P knows oh, yeah, yeah. everything that happened with Beatrice as well. So oh, that yeah. is just yeah. interesting. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's a lot, and we're gonna have to say I know. goodbye to I you, know. which we f- I feel like we have so much more to talk about. Oh, so you're just so gonna to have to about. come back. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so that yes. just means stay tuned, guys. I mean, that was easy, wasn't it? I was like, yeah. Yeah. Okay. He's like, okay, yeah. cool. He's like, just, just for- super comfy. Yeah. Forget all this. I'm in, I'm in. We're just yeah. gonna come back. Yeah, so uh, anything you want to leave us on? I mean, I know you kind of just gave us already some hot predictions, but. Um, uh, Look, tune in because there are a lot of storylines that uh, get tied up. There are a lot of loose ends that that come together very soon. And Mm -hmm. um, the payoff is worth the wait. I love it. And the payoff will be worth the wait when Lincoln's back here with us. It's very true. 
in another in week or two. Years. No, I'm joking. I'll be back. <laughs> well, thank you so much for I, being you. here with us. Thank you, know, you so much. Thank you. Yeah, you're absolutely awesome, yeah. and uh, we'd love to have you back. And of course. Again, we know you went to John and Vinny's restaurant in Fairfax today, <gasps> so... Um, you did? It looked amazing, Can by I just the way. leave it on this note? I, uh, my friend and I ordered two pizzas, two pastas... That's me- what I'm talking about! ...ciabatta and a cake, so <laughs> you don't try hard enough unless you do that. <laughs> <laughs> Mic drop, all Mic right. Drop. Thank, thank you so much, so much for, for being watching. here with Thanks us. Thanks for being so interested in yes, the show. Yes, it's of wonderful. course. Yeah, of thank course. you. See you thank soon. You. Bye. 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 We'll see you next time. Oh. <laughs> so it's okay, guys. He just got tangled up in his. <laughs> See you. Yeah. So, absolutely awesome. Yeah, he's great. Oh yeah. my gosh, yeah. amazing energy. I wish you guys had been here with us watching this show. Like I said, the energy was so magnetic. Like if we known each other for a while. It's like if you too. yeah. So uh, just shout out to Lincoln. Absolutely awesome. We very much enjoyed having you here. We don't have a lot of time, so I just want to maybe just get an overall thoughts of the show. Yeah. And then go right into predictions. So Shay, hit us with yours. Overall thought. Even though I called it, I'm I was I'm so surprised. Every time, like even though I call it while we're watching, I'm always mm-hmm. surprised because I'm right and I don't expect to be right, even if I'm calling okay, it. Okay, girl, let me br- brush your shoulders off real quick. Like I'm just saying, <laughs> like like he said, the show is still it still surprises you. Even though even if I'm calling it, I'm always surprised by the things I don't get. Yeah, which is mm-hmm. what I love at the same time. What yeah. About you, Ricky? <laughs> you have I just wish you hadn't You're called just, the whole Mateo know, thing. And that was the one like, thing I was I was like I was like okay where is this I already knew where it was gonna go sorry but it's okay you're just good at what you do you're like just good at what you I'll do. just write I down my theories now you. how about that I'll just write start writing them down and then I'll show you them to what's your theory on room six oh six I, I I seriously think maybe like I said Beatrice maybe was dealing with some bipolar some mental health issue because. She mm-hmm. looked a little sick. Like mm-hmm. it wasn't like they were. I don't think they were drugging her. But they looked. She looked a little too N- sick. No, I I think that that whole room. I think she has Maybe information. Ha ha. She has she has information on Santiago. Okay. That I, I think that I'll they were that trying to hide. I legit. Maybe. That's why she. Died or she may be missing. What yeah. about what about schizophrenia? That could be a thing too it, because she freaked out with Gigi when like that whole flashback with just her and Gigi of her, she's thinking like maybe Santiago's against her or Santiago can't know about something that she was yeah. ho- withholding herself. She does seem a little off of her rocker. Like she does seem like she's <clears> on <throat> something or something's wrong. I mean, I I had said that my prediction on Room Six Hundred Six. I mean, it did look like they were, you know, I've brought her meal, I've brought, you know, they may be, you know, I watch too much Forensic Files, clearly. But, <laughs> uh, you know, I'm like, oh, there's arsenic in the drink, and there's, mm. there's something in the food, and, and so I'm thinking, I'm, my mind's going there, because I love, like, forensics and all that stuff. So I, I'm, I'm thinking they, they drugged her, they, they're slowly killing her or something. That's what I was thinking. This ain't no flowers in the attic? I, I mean, uh, I need to watch more. Flowers in the attic. You've never read Flowers in the Attic? Yeah. But... You read a lot. Yeah. I do. I, wish I, I had just gotta read, to read more, guys. <laughs> I just gotta read more. Comment below if you know about Flowers in the Attic. Um, it's but... twisted. I will tell you that. <laughs> but anyways, oh, predictions on Room Six Hundred Six. Your After Buzz TV predictions. What are your predictions going forward? I mean, we've only got two and guys. We only have two more episodes yeah. of this, and it's getting absolutely yeah. insane. So, so Sky's alive. Yes. Sky's alive. Sky's alive. Beatrice, I feel like she had something on Santiago, and I think Santiago and Gigi had something going on before everyone knew about it. And I think that Gigi knew about Santiago's under the rug kind of scheme with the money and with Felix and with all these smugglers that I feel like she got afraid. That something may have potentially happened to her or, or the kids, so and she may have tried to rat them out. And I think that they wanted to get rid of her before she spoke. Beatrice. Yeah. I think that's that's a really great prediction. I think I'm I'm going back to that moment where Felix calls Yoli yeah, as we saw in that episode, and he said, and she says, "Tell him he should have he should have killed me when he had the chance." I think I think. Santiago is gonna not be alive at the end of this. Actually, I, my prediction was more Felix was 
Like he's gonna come. Obviously, he's definitely gonna come. And you think it's hard. gonna be the other way around? So that was too big of a character for him to die. Well, that's, yeah, that's true, true because they're it. I mean, well, maybe, okay. maybe harmed. I can I can see. All right, never mind harmed. because season two. So my uh, prediction. Oh, go continue my prediction though. Go ahead. Uh, never mind because season two. So I think it's Felix. Felix is going. He's gonna come there and then final answer. Santiago's <laughs> gonna kill him. That's my final answer. Hit hit me Shay with your hot prediction. Locked in. My prediction: Sky's alive. Beatrice is also alive. Maybe her and Scott are in like some psych ward in some faraway place where they're so drugged up. That's like that's also why she can't contact anybody, and they're just playing like she's dead <clears throat> because they didn't want to, you know, really uproot the kids' life by telling them the truth. Maybe mm-hmm. also, real quick, Felix is coming back with a vengeance, and though he might even harm, maybe not even Santiago. Maybe he's gonna harm Carolina or Yoli as a to make a point mm-hmm. against Gigi too at the same time, but. Felix is going down. All right. It's getting crazy up in here. Sky's alive. That's my prediction. Beatrice is dead. That's my prediction. (laughs) So we're going to find out so much more coming up here. So much more to get into Grand Hotel. Guys, tell us where we can find you on social media. Shay. You guys can find me at Real Shay Jones on Twitter and Instagram. And starting tomorrow, I'm doing 13 Reasons Why Season 3. Good show. I know. And you can find me at Ricky Vitucci on all social media platforms. And my name is Rachel Swindler. You can find me on at Rachel Swin on Twitter or at Rachel Swindler on Instagram. Comment below on your hot predictions for Grand Hotel, guys. Thank you so much for being here with us, and we'll see you next week. Our founder, Kevin Undergaro, and me, Maria Menunos, would like to thank you for tuning in to AfterBuzz TV. Remember, we're not just the first, we're the biggest in the world, and we're the only destination for all your favorite TV shows. Whatever you crave, we've got it. So go to AfterBuzzTV.com and check out our lineup. Buzz you later. <laughs> the views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals. 